Welcome to the headlines. I'm Dennis Wu. Thank you for joining us. Starting today's program in Southeast Africa's Mozambique. In 1990, Claudia was injured during the country's civil war and had to have her hands amputated. Despite this hardship, the 48-year-old grandmother continues to be upbeat and never complains about the difficulties she has encountered. Recently, Tsui Vantius presented her with supplies and a Jinsi portable bed, for which she was very grateful. Carrying this child, 48-year-old Claudia is much like a normal grandmother who enjoys playing with her grandchildren. However, a closer look reveals that both of her hands have been amputated, though she has never taken pity on herself. We were fleeing the Civil War in 1990, and I can't remember what happened. I just remember that when I woke up in the hospital, my hands were missing and I was surrounded by injured people. Claudia lost her hands as well as her home. Later, with the help of a priest, she was slowly able to care for herself. At the time, a priest built a center to care for us. I thought that I didn't want to always rely on others to help, so I learned to take care of myself. Later, I moved to Bobole. For 26 years, Claudia has not only lived on her own, but is also looking after her grandson, as her daughter does odd jobs in town. She is able to manage to do this all by herself. Now I'm at home taking care of my grandson. After he goes to school, I'll have less time to spend with him to get along with him. Today, Tsuji volunteers bring special supplies along with a jinsu bed for her to enjoy. When Tsuji volunteers come to see me, I'm very happy. Claudia's resolute will has earned the praise and respect of Tsuji volunteers. On their next visit, volunteers promise to help her set up a small vegetable garden to allow her to become more self-reliant.